Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create snapshots in VirtualBox. So let's get started. Okay, you can think of a snapshot of a virtual machine as being a photograph of a virtual machine at a particular point in time, hence the name snapshots. Now, what's actually saved in the snapshot is the current state of your hardware settings. So that's all of these settings here for your virtual machine, as well as the current state of your virtual hard disk. So let's just start off by creating a snapshot of this virtual machine here. So we're just going to click on snapshots over here and we're going to click on this kind of camera looking icon, which is to take a current, take a snapshot of a virtual machine. So we're just going to give it a name. Now this is just for our reference. So let's just call it fresh install and we're going to click OK. And there we go. We've got a snapshot of this virtual machine. So now let's just change the base memory from 1024 and let's just flick it up to whatever. So 4096 and click OK. As you can see, that's changed. But if we go to our snapshots and click fresh install and then we click this restore snapshots icon and click restore. We have to create a new snapshot name here. So let's just call it after RAM and now if we go back to the hardware details of our virtual machine you can see that the base memory is now back to what it was originally at so we've rolled back to our fresh install snapshot so we can delete this snapshot now and we just press the delete snapshot icon and click delete and that's all gone so we can also take snapshots of virtual machines as they're running. So I'm just going to start this virtual machine up and show you how to do that. OK, so my VM has now booted up, so I'm just going to maximize that and launch a couple of terminals. Just move one over there, just put one there. And in the left one, I'm just going to change directory to the desktop and just create a file and let's call it before snapshot there we go so you can see that files on the desktop here and in the right terminal I'm just gonna open up nano and I'm just gonna write that snapshots save memory state 2 now when you create a snapshot of a running virtual machine it also saves anything that's in RAM so as I haven't saved this nano buffer, it's still in memory. So let's just click on machine up here in the top left menu and click take snapshot. And let's just call this snapshot before we trashed our VM and hit OK. OK, so now that we've got a snapshot of our currently running virtual machine, I'm now going to do something really silly. Now, this next step, I don't recommend that you do this. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Don't do this on your own machine, a friend's machine. Just never, ever do this. It's really, really silly. So you've been warned. Don't do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use sudo and rmtachrf, double tack no preserve tech root and forward slash and what that's going to do is it's going to basically wipe out all of the files in my operating system so just enter my root password and there we go now I'm going to let that run for a bit and come back when it's done okay so that finished running and as you can see, the operating system is pretty trashed. Yep, commands are not being found. Um, I don't know, let's try and open up another VM. Nope, nothing. Um, let's try and open one of these. Nope, and I can't actually shut this VM down. So there we go, I'd say that's successfully trashed. Um, let's close that. 
Now what we're going to do is roll back to the previous snapshot that we just made. So if I just click exit on this VM and I want to power off the machine and make sure that restore current snapshot is selected. So that was the one that we just made. So before we trashed our VM and click OK. Now what we can do is make sure that our VM is selected here and click start. And as you can see, it's restoring the virtual machine. And there we go. The file that we, we created before the snapshot on our desktop is back. And this sentence here that we typed into a nano buffer is back there. So we can save that buffer now. So let's just, yep, save it. I don't know, let's just call it file, file one. There we go. And everything is back to normal. So as you can see, everything that was in memory at the time, as well as files that we had created after, before we created our snapshot are all back there. And you can see that our snapshot has been created here. Now you can create as many snapshots as you wish to make, and you can just navigate through them using this snapshots menu here. So more useful reasons to create snapshots other than destroying your operating system are maybe you're about to update some files within your operating system and you're not sure how they're going to work with some of the applications you have running in your VM. You can create a snapshot and then run the updates and if things start to break just roll it on back to one of your previously created snapshots. If you're already using snapshots or you've thought of a cool use for them throw it down in the comments below. And that has just brought us to the end of this tutorial. So I hope you found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.